Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownload Blog, and if you ever struggle to find the right emoji or the perfect emoji that you're looking for lost in the sea of other emoji, this video will be the fix for you. To get right into it, this is the Smojis keyboard app for your iOS devices. It does cost 99 cents, but I think it's worth it if you use emojis enough. It functions as any other third-party keyboard does, but its sole purpose is to allow you to customize the emoji drawer. With this, you can easily hide whole categories of emoji or any individual ones that you never use. You can even do the slide gesture when selecting your hidden emoji as if you were selecting multiple pictures from the Photos app. Other options include showing or hiding the recently used tab, allowing you to pre-select the recently used, which as far as I can tell, actually doesn't change anything. And you can turn on a section called hidden, which will reveal any of the hidden emoji so that they can still be used. You can also change the default skin tone for emoji that support it. And finally, you can choose between the dark and normal theme. This is all fine and dandy, but I actually use it in almost the opposite of its intended use. Since the pre-select recently used toggle doesn't seem to actually affect anything, I use the hidden aspect to highlight the emoji that I find myself often looking for but struggling to find in the drawer. So now these emoji will have a section of their own in the keyboard to easily find. And if you keep it under 15 or so, it doesn't get muddled either, so you have a pretty easy access to those emoji. If you disable the Apple emoji drawer, this can become your default and primary emoji selection option. But if you get rid of Apple's emoji drawer, it will get rid of the emoji text prediction, so I would keep it on, but just keep it lower on the list. It's not quite as seamless as Apple's, meaning that it's just not quite as minimal and streamlined, basically just the design. It's slightly bulkier, but if you use emojis a lot, the 99 cents should pay off if you want to use it to hide, or in my case, to display certain emoji characters. Hopefully the pre-select recently used toggle will be updated. I think that's supposed to do something different than what it currently does. It would be awesome if you could totally rearrange the drawer, but for now this is still pretty handy and I will be using it over Apple's primary emoji keyboard. Let me know what you think and leave a comment down below if you have any similar tools in your keyboard. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the written side of this if you have any questions or further concerns.